Rebuild Procedures for the Holland FW17 Series 5th Wheel In order to begin the rebuild procedures for the FW17, you must first remove the top plate. To start the removal process, first remove the bracket pin retention bolts and nuts from both sides of the 5th wheel top plate. Next, using a pry bar, pull the bracket retention pins out of the 5th wheel top plate. Using a lifting device capable of lifting 500 pounds, remove the fifth wheel from the mounting base. Note, follow instructions published by the lifting device manufacturer for proper operation of the lifting device. Place the fifth wheel right side up on a flat, clean working area or dedicated fifth wheel rebuild stand. Inspect the fifth wheel for cracks and flatness. If the top plate is cracked or distorted, it must be replaced. Warning: Do not attempt repair or service if the top plate is cracked or distorted. The top plate must be replaced. Failure to replace the top plate could result in tractor-trailer separation, which may result in death or serious injury. To begin the rebuild, first replace the adjusting pin socket head cap screw, aligning the adjustment pin with the first adjustment notch. Using a lifting device capable of lifting 500 pounds, Flip the fifth wheel upside down. If you are using a dedicated fifth wheel rebuild stand, carefully turn the fifth wheel upside down. At this point, completely remove all components from the fifth wheel and discard them. Important: Your rebuild kit contains all components necessary to completely rebuild your fifth wheel top plate. Do not reuse old parts. Thoroughly steam clean the top plate or use a suitable alternative method to remove all grease. The lock pin and adjusting pin on FW Series top plates are slip fit. They are not designed to be press fit like other Holland fifth wheels. However, if either hole is elongated, the top plate must be replaced. Note: The maximum allowable lock pin hole diameter is 1 and 429 thousandths of an inch. The maximum allowable adjusting pin hole diameters are 1 and 672 thousandths of an inch for the top of the hole and 1 and 172 thousandths of an inch for the bottom of the hole. Now that the top plate has been thoroughly cleaned and inspected, we can begin the new lock installation. Begin by inserting the release handle S-bend through the rib handle window as shown. Lubricate both holes of the release cam with never seize. Also lubricate both sides around the cam slot and the cam slot itself with grease. Install the release cam onto the S-Bend so that the end of the S-Bend is facing up. Turn the release handle and release cam so that the release cam can be fed through the slot in the main rib. Install the hook pin into the release cam hole with the head towards the top plate casting. Next lubricate the hook with never seize and grease as shown. Place the hook over the hook pin. Secure the hook and release cam onto the hook pin with a retaining ring. Lubricate the adjusting pin with grease and never seize as shown. Align the hook and insert the adjusting pin so that it lines up with the first adjustment notch. Place washers over the adjusting pin. Install the cotter pin in the adjusting pin, spread both tines apart. Lubricate the lock with grease and never seize as shown. Install the lock into the casting. Lubricate the lock pin with grease and never seize as shown. Align the lock and insert the lock pin. Install the cotter pin in the lock pin, spread both tines apart. Move the hook and release cam into position so the cam slot is over the tapped hole in the top plate casting. Now we will install the cam bolt. Lubricate and place a washer with the rounded side towards the release cam between the release cam and hole in the casting. Lubricate and place another washer with the rounded side towards the release cam and spacer on the bolt. Secure the assembly using a 1 half 20 by 1 and 3 quarters inch bolt. Tighten to 40 to 50 foot pounds of torque. Next, we will install the springs. 
If your top plate is equipped with a release cam spring post bolt, install the spacer, washer, and a 1 half 20 by 1 and a half inch bolt and torque to 40 to 50 foot pounds. If the top plate is equipped with a release cam spring post as part of the casting, install the push retainer onto the post. Current generation top plates feature a cast-in attachment hole for the release cam spring. Install the release cam spring by attaching it to the release cam and to the bolt, post, or hole in the casting, depending on your top plate. Install so the spring opening on the release cam faces away from the fifth wheel. Next, install the lock spring. Attach one end of the spring to the lock and the other to the hole in the casting. Install so the spring openings face away from the fifth wheel. To install the release handle springs, attach one end of the springs with the smaller diameter spring inside of the larger diameter spring to the hole in the casting. Next, loop the other end of the springs around the bend of the release handle. Install so that all of the spring openings face away from the fifth wheel. Now open the lock by sliding the release handle forward and pulling it all the way out. The Holland FW17 series rebuild procedure is now complete. Important: The fifth wheel lock must be adjusted before placing into service. Warning: Using an improperly adjusted fifth wheel may cause tractor and trailer separation, which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. SAF Holland recommends performing the lock adjustment procedure after every fifth wheel rebuild. Lock Adjustment Procedures for the Holland FW17 Series Fifth Wheel Warning: Failure to maintain proper fifth wheel adjustment could result in loss of vehicle control, which, if not avoided, could result in death or serious injury. Note, to obtain a proper fifth wheel adjustment, SAF Holland recommends the use of Holland Fifth Wheel Lock Tester TFTLN5001 available from an SAF Holland distributor. We will now begin the lock adjustment procedure. If the fifth wheel is locked, slide the release handle forward and completely pull out. Set the lock tester on the fifth wheel top plate. To lock the fifth wheel, rotate the handle on the lock tester clockwise until the locks close around the kingpin. Slide the adjustment tool forward and backward while the lock is closed to check for play between the locks and kingpin. Ensure that the tool remains flat with full contact on the fifth wheel top plate. Using a pin gauge, measure the free play between the locks and the kingpin. If free play exceeds eight hundredths of an inch, proceed to adjust the locks. To begin adjusting the locks, unscrew and remove the socket head cap screw. Now rotate the adjusting pin counterclockwise until the next notch aligns with the socket head cap screw hole. Note: Adjust only one notch at a time. Retighten the socket head cap screw. Push down and rotate the J-hook on the lock tester so that it hooks under the front skirt of the fifth wheel top plate. Verify proper adjustment by locking and unlocking the fifth wheel several times with the lock tester. Check that the fifth wheel is properly locked. The lock should be completely engaged around the kingpin and the hook engaged behind the lock. Rotate the lock adjustment tool from side to side to ensure that the locks are not over tightened. The locks should not grip the kingpin and the tool should rotate freely. Recheck for free play in the locks by sliding the adjustment tool forward and backward. Free play should be four hundredths of an inch minimum. If free play still exceeds eight hundredths of an inch, repeat this procedure and adjust to one more notch. If the adjustment is still unsatisfactory, the fifth wheel top plate may not be usable. When complete, slide the fifth wheel release handle forward and pull completely out. Pull the lock tester handle counterclockwise to release the kingpin, release the J-hook, and remove the lock tester. The Holland FW17 series lock adjustment procedure is now complete.